Yo, yo, yo. Sissy, say, say yo, yo, yo. Say it. Boy, howdy. So, that's a lot of ducks. And that's snow geese. This field's piling in, boys. I thought this would be perfect and extremely relatable to a bunch of my viewers. Over the past, over reading all your comments and communicating with all you guys, I have a lot of dads out there. And a lot of dads that have younger kids. So today, we got Sissy who's already ready to go to sleep. She is, she's struggling. And then we got, we got Bubba who's already snoozing, sawing logs. Most of you dads know is when you're on dad duty and mama's busy and she has stuff to do, maybe she's working, <laughs> Bubba's got a cough. But a lot of you dads out there know with younger kids, when you're on dad duty, you gotta put them down for naps, you gotta do all that. Mama's at work or mama's busy, so us dads gotta step up and we gotta take charge. So this is the one dad hunting hack that I live by. I'm serious, I love it. The kids love it. It's a great bonding experience. What we do, we saddle up when it's ready for their nap time and luckily, when these birds fly in my area here, it's right when my kids usually want to nap. Nothing's better to a kid than napping in a car, especially on a bumpy dirt road. It doesn't take long. Literally, it's only been not even 10 minutes and the baby boy is out snoozing. You ready for a, you ready for a nap, sis? Yeah. So what we like to do is we like to get out here and we like to look at birds together. Check it out. This is the second feed we've already found in 15 minutes. One thing I will stress when you take the kids out, especially into December, January here, it's cold. It's extremely cold. You gotta keep the car warm and you gotta get the blankets. Sissy, you want your blanket? There you go, girl. You gotta cover the kids up and make sure they are warm. So tip number one, oh, hold up. Oh my goodness, look at these ducks. Today is the last day of ducks here in Kansas until the end of January, so. <laughs> It's going to be a little stressful watching these ducks do it like this. So, tip number one, first of all, water, snacks. What'd you eat? What do you got there, sis? You got a banana yogurt. You love those things, don't you, girl? <laughs> so grab some food for the road. You don't want to leave, and then they get hungry. They'll get moody. They won't take their nap, man. So that's my tip number one. Tip number two. Daddy's got to have coffee. Got to have the coffee. Tip number three and most important. Got to have the diapers. Don't, <laughs> daddies, don't leave home without them. Bubba, your cough, man. And if any of you are wondering, no, I'm not going to vlog and drive. We're parked. The car is in park. And we are sitting on a dirt road, not on a busy road. I would never park on the side of a busy road with the kiddos. Tip number four. Don't park on busy highways on the sides of them with the kids. The back roads are the best. Nobody coming, nobody going. A lot safer sitting on the side of a dirt road than on the side of a highway. So to add to the food blankets, it is extremely cold when we're out scouting. So tip number, what am I at? Five, six, I don't know. Don't drive too far away. You like, I'm not gonna go scout an hour one way away from my house, you know, I'm. I'm just not gonna do that with the kids. I would do it by myself, but with it being, what is it? It's 11 degrees outside, 11 degrees. We got it warm here in the car, very toasty, but if something were to break down, if the car would, if we got a flat tire, you know, well, not a flat tire, I could, I could keep it running, but let's say alternator went out or say the, say the engine just canned and we we're on, stuck on the side of the road with no heat. 
that's very dangerous in 12 degree weather. So to add to that tip, tip number five, six, eight, whatever it is, make sure you always have good fuel. Make sure you got some fuel. You got a little over half a tank, so we're good to go. Mama's little Nissan is good on gas, so that's why I like taking it scouting. I wanna stress safety if you have your kids on board. I don't park on the side of busy county roads even, especially highways like I had said. County roads are usually gonna be 50, 55 mile an hour, maybe 65 sometimes, and that's just too fast to, to be risking the biscuit sitting on the side of the county road. But yet again, we are back on a dirt road, and um, look, we found a huge feed of snows. Huge. This is the fourth feed that I've found this evening. It is uh, out there in the middle of that section, so far away, it's hard for me to even zoom that far to see it very well. I do four times the amount of scouting driving around than I do actually hunting, literally. That's why I have good hunts. Now, I have help from a couple buddies, Adam, Wade, some other buddies, a bunch of them that help me scout. I'm just speaking for myself though. I have good hunts, like you guys see, because I drive so much. Just that's what it takes. You know, if you're hunting dark geese, Canada's, lessers, whatever, you don't have to have all the decoys in the world. It just takes some good scouting. We switched roles here. What are you doing, man? Now Bubba's awake and Sissy is asleep. Hey, what are you doing, man? Hey, what are you doing? But honestly, think about this. If you raise your kids scouting with you, and being safe about it, you're gonna you're gonna raise them to love it. They're gonna already harp her. She's only three and a half years old, and she can tell what a duck is from a goose. That's pretty good. And I mean not tell from a picture, actually with it flying. So that is really cool because I know that I have involved them into what I love so much that she's already taken to it. If she didn't like it, she wouldn't care about knowing the difference between a duck or goose. But it's a good way to get your kids involved, and if they want to do it, you'll know. If, if they don't want to do it, don't force them into it. If they don't want to go scout, don't make them. My kids love it, and they get good naps. Also, scouting is a great way to include them in my hunting. I can't take them out in the blind yet, especially when it's 20 and 30 degrees. Even 40 degrees, 45 degrees is too cold for my three and a half year old. So getting them in the car, having them look at the birds with daddy, but it's just one way to start building that bond and seeing if they like it. Oh yeah, and I just remembered, safety tip number 11 or something. If you find a field on a busy road, highway, busy county road, Go to the next mile line to get on that dirt road to whip out your Onyx maps or whatever you need to use to see who owns it or try to get permission or anything. Just get to the dirt road to pull off the side. I'm not just saying that if you have kids, but even by yourself, park on the dirt road. Just go to the dirt road. When you're on your phone looking at it on the side of a road, you're not paying attention to cars coming or going. So I stress if you're scouting, you know, try to use the dirt roads if you need to park. Oh my goodness, look at this. Ooh, I found a feed now, boys. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. I pulled to the other end of the field and the entire field is just loaded. Look at them all dropping in over there. Look how thick that is. So now you see what I mean. Scouting, you get your kids around the birds, but they're warm in the car. Also, like I said, it helps to see if they enjoy, you know, watching the birds, getting interested in the birds, and wanting to learn what daddy does. But all in all, when I get to do this with the kids, it's uh, it's special. They, they both are probably sleeping again. Yep, still sleeping. You see the birds out there, bub? Look out your window, man. Hey, look the other way. Hey man, look the other way, out your window, over there. Look out there. 
<laughs> You're a crazy man. Hey, hey, hey now, now one thing you'd never do is touch a man's lens, boy. Listen, they are so loud, you can hear them pecking. You can hear them pecking the ground, they're feeding so hard, look at their heads. Listen, I'll try to shut up. They are feeding hard, look at them heads. They are just feeding. Jax, sit. Oh, you're a good boy. Sit. Oh, he just wants love. Oh, bye, bye. <laughs> Yo, we are back at home. We are here. The kids are home. Mama's home. I just got done editing that video, and let me tell you, Wow, I did not think that that footage was going to turn out that good of the snow geese feeding. On that last big snow goose hunt video, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a how-to video of the big snow goose spreads. How we set those 1500 decoy spreads. And let me tell you, you guys freaking, you're, you're still commenting on that video actually. Still wanting that how-to video and believe me, I'm going to do it and I'm going to show you. But to add to that spread video that we will be doing, I have learned so much of the biology of snow geese. A lot of people think that snow geese are hard to hunt. They don't want to decoy in your spreads, yada, yada, yada. Well, fact is, not a lot of people own 1,500 snow goose decoys. That's what makes the difference why snow geese do it so well. They feed in big, massive groups and having a ton of snow goose decoys, like 1,500 or 100, a hundred dozen of the dang things, it makes them do it dirty. So, be expecting that video, and I'm probably going to have a following video when that one comes up. That is all about what I've learned about snow geese, the biology of the snow goose. Basically, it's going to have a lot of good information, and you guys are going to need to watch this series about snow geese. So guys, be expecting those videos because I'm going to put a lot of good information in them. But, over the holidays, you guys, we got tons of messages asking if we can offer gift cards here at Ducks. So we've done it. The gift cards are available. I will link them in the description below. We have $10, $25, $50, and $100 gift cards. So even though the holidays are over, guys, we still have birthdays and, and Valentine's Day is coming up. So a gift card from Ducks for your man or for your brother or for your best friend, I don't care. It's like the best gift in the world. So go to the description below and go check them out. Also, we brought back the early riser designs. Not all of you have seen it yet. The early riser ducks design we brought back in the hat and the hoodie. I will also link these in the description below also. Oh, look, we got interrupted. I'm telling you guys, this is why I live here. I will never move, ever. This is my hometown, never moving. All day, every day, I'm, I'm telling you, we are loaded full of birds here. Guys, I have hunt videos stacked up for you guys. But guys, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I love including my children like this. It's the one way that I can include them and show them what daddy does. And let me tell you, it's a good time. And they love taking a nap in the car on them washboard freaking roads. Scout, 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 guys. I'm telling you, that's how you have these good hunts. You don't have to have a million decoys. But scout, guys, scout. I want to thank you guys for watching. Seriously, you know I appreciate you guys. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed it and you appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't. I love you all. Have a good one. Happy Sunday. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I put my